What's up, everybody? Big Herc 916 getting down with Fresh Out. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share the channel, and go to freshoutseries.com and pick you up a bar of soap and wash your ass so you know you're stinking out there. Hey, man, I'm here with Lady Perp. We chopping it up. You've been asking me to get more females on the channel, so hey, here we have it. Um, Lady Perp, um, we've been we've been you know kicking some good game around now. Our viewers want to know what are some of the crazy prison stories or prison things you've seen inside there. I know, you know, you talk about uh, some of these crazy fights and stuff. What are some of the st things you've seen that you were like, damn, this shit is crazy? God, there's so many things that I've seen. I think one of them with drugs. I remember, like I said, I had a, a lifer bunkie. And I remember she used to have a lot of people over in drugs that came in and they had a needle. And I remember seeing 10 people on one needle and everybody's saying, I ain't got none, I ain't got none. Oh. You know what I mean? That's one. And then I remember also um, when I was in Chowchilla, I was on the receiving yard. And um, um, the guards, like when they know you're there for a baby crime, they, they treat you different. You know what I mean? Like they, they, they kind of put you on blast and they want everybody to know there's no secret in there. Yeah. 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 So I remember a time being on, on a yard and, um, there was a girl in there and she had got a letter Well, her letter had went, got delivered to somebody else and somebody oh, opened it up shit. and read it. And it was actually, um, it was her baby daddy and he was talking about, you know, that he wasn't going to be able to mess with her no more, that what she did was unacceptable. Well, I guess she had oral sex with her five-year-old son or something like that. And he had custody of the kid and he was like, you can't be around the kids no more or whatnot. But that letter got, the guards had dropped it off to a girl. The girl had passed it around the whole, oh. so every, I even read it. Everybody read it. And then eventually that girl ended up going to the yard and man, they got her. They got her out there. Oh, and then shit. once they got her, nobody's seen her. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just a serious thing, like in the men's prison, because like anything with like kids or you find out like, you know, you did something to a baby, man. It's like, dude, that's that's it. I mean, you have to. And then now when something like that happens, is it that particular race checks them in or anybody just everybody checks them in everybody everybody checks them because oh, i remember wow. i remember because we would get yard for about an hour and i remember we went out to yard and there were they were like doing construction so there was like this fence up and i remember her being on the floor and they, everybody was just in kicking her kicking her kicking her and then it was a yard down and then um they removed her after they removed her they, i don't know where they took her but they took her off that yard so when we went over the wall, you figure you'd see her there. I didn't see her there. So they had her like, I don't know if they had PC there or they just had like a, like a ad sag or something like that. So they removed her. And I remember going to another prison and then finally she got there and nobody knew her story there. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah. Cause uh, you know, another thing too, I know like when they ship people and a lot of people like they're flying under the radar, yeah. like thinking, Oh, you know, nobody knows. And then somebody else will show up and be like, Hey, yeah. That was so-and-so from whoop de wop and they told or yep. they were hot or they did this and that. And then it's like, it's on again. Yeah, that's exactly what happened to her. So she ended up going to another prison and I ended up being there and a few other people were ended up being there. And then that's when her story got out to people who didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of the incidents in near, like you said, are, are with women and, 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 um, and, and drugs like that and those different cases now. You know, these women, some of them, you know, like you said, the, the woman that had a hundred years, I mean, what type of case is that? Man? I mean, is that something like where they kill the baby or kill the kid or something crazy or? Well, the one that I knew, um, she, I think she had 139 years and she, it was for a drive-by. Yeah, it was Damn. a drive-by and I think it was on a house and I don't know how many people were hit, but she was actually, she had been down for years and um, she was actually going to board trying to tell them like to resentence her and she completed every program in the prison, everything that they had to offer in the prison, she did. And um, she was trying to ask them for like a, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it'd be clemency or something like that, but like some type of um where they would resentence her because that was a lot of years, you know what I mean? That's, she's never ever going home, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So that was, she had 139 years and it was for a drive-by yeah. and it was gang and it had to do with gangs too. So, you know, they packed it on her. Yeah. Yeah. The gang enhancement mm -hmm. and everything else. Now, is, have you, were there a lot of, um, you know, did you run across like a lot of like old women who had been down a, a long time or had anything like infamous as far as what their case is? Like, did you run across anybody who had like, 
celebrity related cases or anything kind of like for all like, damn, I, I remember hearing about this or something like that. Yes, I have a, a good one, actually. Um, I was in there with uh, Gabriel Fernandez's mom. The uh, She had oh, killed her the son. Oh, not the dude from that got drowned in the lake? No, 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 no. This is... Um, no, I'm thinking of the guy who... The mom the and the boyfriend, she uh, killed their little boy, her little boy, and they had him in a cabinet. It happened like in Lancaster. Well, I ended I think up. I heard, yes. Yeah, oh, I ended up man. being there with her, and I was on Agard when she had got there. And one of my friends um, kept telling me because I, I was out there on the streets doing drugs. I really didn't know about you know case. I wasn't watching TV yeah. or nothing. So when she got there, I didn't know who she was. All I know is one of my homegirls was like. Um, there's this baby case here and I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her. She's like, all these women want to go home and ain't nobody want to do nothing or I'm going to get her. Well, she ended up eventually catching her in the chow hall and they sliced her up through hot water in her because oh, we get hot shit. water for coffee. And um, she, they ended up getting her in there. Yeah. I remember that because that dude, I remember that because the dad, biological dad was locked up and when he heard about yes. it, he was hot. Yes. Because like the dude was feeding the kid like, feces cat litter cat litter oh yep. man that dude was a piece of shit yes, yes yeah that was horrible i remember and child protective had been called and they never did nothing so yep. it made them look at the whole program again when they go through uh checks yes yeah that yes. was crazy yeah they failed him they failed him it was pretty messed up when it was well my friend ended up getting at her it was like a big old thing they shut down the whole prison when that happened that was like the most craziest thing i was they shut down the prison we all went on lockdown and they pulled everybody out their cell we were living in uh, eight man cells and I remember everybody was pulled out individually one by one and questioned about that incident because it was a, it was a big, big thing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's what they do. Like in the men's when shit, like a, like a major riot happened. They, they put you in like an interrogation. Yeah, exactly. Ask a bunch of questions and yep. stuff like that. Damn. That's, that's, that's horrible. Um, I, I, you know, when you, when you run across stuff like that, it kind of makes you, you know, you think twice about like, just appreciating now having your freedom and, and just being around people of some type of sensibility because people, you know, th you know, they go to prison, they think it's a party and they're mm -hmm. hanging out and this and that, you know, and it's no big thing. I'm going to go in there and get my stripes. I mean, when you, when you see p like some of these women that come through there, do you think like they take that prison experience serious or have some of these women kind of like, you know, that's like, oh, I'm just in here just, you know, doing my thing or is it, are they more humble? Do they really look at it differently? Because for guys, a lot of time they come in there and they think, you know, it's a stripe or, you know, some of these guys, you know, especially if they think there was something on the street and they get in there, it exposes them because now you don't have no gun. You ain't mm -hmm. in here with the homies. You ain't high on these pills. You got to deal with reality. I think a lot of women go in there and they think they have to be harder than what they are you know what I mean so a lot of them go in there and they're um basically just like making the I mean partying they're trying to get high you know what I mean uh, there's a lot of that in the women prison a lot of that like people are just trying to I guess party while they're in there and you know like make the best out of their time for me it was different for me I was trying to get whatever I could out of it yeah and you know what I mean so I could stay on the right the right track and what's the what's the, the the drug of choice in there there's uh it's usually meth and uh suboxone suboxone huh? yeah wow because I, I know on the men's prison heroin was a big thing yeah you know and a lot of the guys i i, I didn't really know but i used to see like dudes would have their curtains up and be like damn he didn't come out of cell for like two days like yeah. <laughs> and it's like i didn't know they'd be nodded out yeah so they'd be on that stuff and then they don't even want to come out and i'm like i didn't even know i'm like oh dude is on that shit mm -hmm. That's how it is in there. I mean, I remember when I was in Chowchilla that they're high, high like that out there on the yard. And it's only obvious, you know what I mean? You can only tell. So it's like, they know when it's there. They usually hit about two weeks after something lands. Oh, That's finally yeah, when they hit. Yeah. yeah, it's usually about two weeks after something lands. Now, are there are a lot of like women, since there's so much um, usage of drugs, are there a lot of women getting caught up with drug debts, like owing people to or? Yeah, there's a lot of that. I've seen that. I've actually seen people, if you go in there and you have money, like I've seen, uh, there's a girl, I actually know her. She, uh, uh, her, she came for money, you know what I mean? So I remember she would give people, here's $100, get me some stuff, you know what I mean? Green dot, whatever, and then they'd burn her. You know mm. what I mean? They'd burn her. I've seen people um, get got for their stuff. I've seen people have a sack and actually they go and they jump her and take all of her stuff. I've seen... Um, where they go up in women looking for things, you know what I mean? Yeah, Damn. all of it, all of it. I've seen I it go all. Up in there like that. Yeah, and then they catch charges. 
Oh, right wow. after, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, some crazy stuff. All They do it all for dope. And see, like, in, in a men's prison, is like, uh, you know, if they find out, like, a dude, like, I knew dudes who didn't really tell people what they were worth on the street because they, they don't want to get extorted. Yeah, now, I've they, seen that. They're extorted <laughs> in there, too? Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Wow. I've seen that like, too. Like, you yeah. know, hey, you have your people send this in or mm -hmm. else. I've seen them actually get on the phone and call people. You know what I mean? Like, have them talk to their mom and stuff like that. I've seen all that. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. And then they're all back in the shoe. Then they get caught up because they were on the phones. You know what I mean? Yeah, because they can hear everything, yeah. recording everything. I've seen it. And then they're all, all of them together are in the hole. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, because I know that's like a big thing. And, and, you know, there's even people like sometimes if, uh, if somebody feels you're soft, like coming out of like commissary and you always get in a big bag, they're like, oh, okay, hey, you just dropped that off. Like they, 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 they people are getting extorted for their commissary in there too? Um, not really so much that, but there you'll see the leeches around them. You know what I mean? Like you'll see people around them trying to get what they can and stuff like that, but not so much like like that. But there, there will be around people who got their bags, yeah. Now, are there other women in there also paying for protection or no? Uh, no. Okay. No, you don't really see that, yeah. Okay. Okay. They'll probably get got. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> you're saying the the lock and the sock was the weapon of choice in there? Yeah, that was. That was big in there. I know. That, like and then I think um, <coughs> they would get like the tuna, the tuna, uh, not the tuna, but the um, the like anchovy, like little lids and stuff like that. And they would use that too. Mm, yeah. To cut them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's like that's not, that's almost like a California Youth Authority because I know why. The lock and the sock and that thing is like vicious. And then, you know, like, like you said, the same thing. They're making shanks. Like, yeah. There are a lot of people making shanks in there too or no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. A lot of stabbings? Um, I've seen it more on a, the level four yard that I was at. It was more out there, more active out there than where I actually did most of my time. Okay. Yeah. But it's there. So like in, in, the, in, the, in the dorm type environments, are the women more or less trying to program more or is there still a threat of violence when people get out of line? Um, there's still a threat of violence whenever you put women together like that. You know what I mean? Like, but I think in a dorm, um, the dorms that I were in, it was more everybody was doing their own thing. You know what I mean? It was more of a respect issue in there. You know what I mean? Like cleanliness and stuff like that. So do you see it, it, it being a lot more emotional because of the women factor? Because of like in men, a lot of times you'll try to, you know, hash things out through diplomatic you know avenues rather than you know resulting in violence or in the women more or less once it gets to a certain point it's like it's gonna it's gonna crack off yeah it's it's gonna crack off women are loud you know what i mean They're, when they bump heads it's like there's no stopping i've seen uh i mean there you have there are women that'll just bark you know what i mean and walk away or but most of the time it's 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 an issue yeah now can you can you tell the ones who are the barkers between the ones who are actually serious about their business, do you know, like, oh, she, she ain't, she's quiet, she ain't complain. Yeah, you know. But then again, you get them quiet ones too that they think that they could pick on and stuff like that, and then they got hands. I've seen that too. Oh wow. Yeah, I've seen somebody like a little girl get picked on, and then finally she just had it. You know what I mean? And she had it. And she she took flight. She she got her. <laughs> now, do they? Is it is it is it more or less like when you come in there, or can you pretty much? mind your business or is somebody initially trying to fill you out to test you or is is there a female trying to come and somehow if they feel like oh you know she's vulnerable like uh take advantage or is it is it more or less you can kind of navigate without having to really click up or anything i think you can navigate without having to click up but you do get certain individuals that will try to test you just to see where you stand you know what i mean i, I had a friend go in there and she kind of had a hard time like i said uh, for me prison was always what you made it you know what i mean okay. uh, she had a little hard time i remember somebody tried to uh she moved into a cell it was a, a dorm and they didn't want to give her her locker and um she felt like she was punked, you know what I mean? She was like, I'm going to need my locker. And they were like, well, I'm going to be here a long time. Your, your term here is going to be short. Like, and they, yeah, she ended up getting down over it, you know what I mean? Because she didn't want to feel like she was getting punked out of her locker. Even if her term was short or not, that's still yeah. hers when you get there, you know and what I mean? And everybody's watching that too. Yeah, right? and so it, I think <clears throat> if she would have let that slide, then they would have all, you know what I mean? Yeah. Took her as vulnerable. Yeah, that's the same thing like in, in, same, like you, in the men's prison. Like, you know, somebody, you come in there, and there's X amount of bunk, but somebody got two mattresses. Yeah. <laughs> and like, dude, you, I need that mattress. Oh, man, you know, it's like, I'm not sleeping on this metal. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to come up out that mattress. So there's a lot of that going on. Wow. So 
at the end of the day, like you said, the, the, the biggest thing is if there's somebody who has anything child related or anything, you know, that goes beyond what they would feel is uh, respectable, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're going to have some problems. Yes, exactly. You're going to have major issues there. I mean, like I said, you'll have these certain individuals that'll let it slide because they're trying to go home to their kids and stuff like that. But then you have these one individuals that came from the streets. They're addicts. They ain't got. They're they're going to get out to shit. They really don't care. You know what I mean? Or some of them that just max out. You know what I mean? And they ain't got nothing to lose. So, yeah. And is is there is there more or less? Uh, would you say the majority of the population is using some type of drug in there, or there or is there um, you know, a lot of people who just kind of stay away from that. Or... I think it's like half and half. Okay. You know, it's half and half, but there is a lot of drug use in there. When I went in there, I didn't think it was going to be as bad as it was. And it was pretty bad. It was just like the streets. It was in there. It was, it was always in there. Wow. Okay. Hey, big Herc 916 on Lady Pert. Fresh out. You tired of smelling like stinky butt, funky armpits? Wash your ass. Go to FreshOutStories.com and pick you up a bar of soap.